On December 23rd, 2018, myself, hey guys, I'm Laura, and my partner, Ollie, packed up our lives in London and moved out of the city we had been calling home to head back to where we grew up in the southwest of England. We were so ready and rather excited to turn this new house into our home, and one of the main reasons for the move was because we'd always dreamt of purchasing a Victorian Durepa which we were lucky enough to, but as first time homeowners and first time renovators, we had no idea what we had just taken on. We'd stretched out our budget to buy this forever home and quickly learned that if we wanted it livable, we would be doing all of the work ourselves. So in 2019, we tackled the ground floor, creating a newly renovated space for a lodger to earn extra income. And by the end of 2020, we had completed the top floor renovations. Somehow, even with one year's experience of renovations, we found ourselves learning on the go with quite a few mistakes and with the pandemic and busy working lives, this project took far longer than we anticipated. I mean, doesn't every renovation? But we found ourselves craving a dust-free space where we could take our belongings out of boxes and hopefully live a little. Which takes us to today, the day we finally, after two and a half years, make over a bedroom for us. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be an exciting one because we are making over our bedroom. If you've been following our journey for a while, you'll know that we have totally renovated the top floor of our house and one of the rooms is where we have been staying. Long term, this is going to be a guest room, but for now it's our room and we do love it. It's clean, it's fresh, it feels so new and lovely, but at the moment it's a little bit bland. It's really a blank canvas and it is time to pop some personality into it. We started by removing the furniture that we had popped in the room temporarily. Most of this furniture had come from other houses for us, so it didn't really fit in the space properly, but we needed it there temporarily to give us some storage. We got the wardrobe up here. It was quite the effort to get up the stairs, to be honest. Some of you guys may remember this from our green room, which was a spare room that we made over, which nobody has used. So we thought we'd bring this one up here. It's not the biggest for the space. I was wondering whether I'd have to paint it, but actually I think the color matches fine. So I'm just gonna touch it up in the places that where we dinged it on the way up from the stairs. Now we're gonna fill this with the stuff that Ollie is actually using at the moment. Perfect timing. We've just got the wardrobe in and all this stuff into the wardrobe, but we've got some storage bits that we need to put somewhere, and our bed has just arrived. We've been waiting for this, haven't we? It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna turn you around so that you can see it. Here it is. So in the end, we went with the company Button and Sprung and this is the headboard. So you choose the headboard with them and we chose the rose, which has this amazing detailing all over it. Because we went for such white walls in this room, I really wanted the headboard to be a statement headboard and especially for a guest room in the long term, I love like, a high mattress and high pillows and for it to look 
really plush and luxurious, which I think this does do. And then we went back and forth, but we are so glad that we went for the storage ottoman because now we can fit all of this storage underneath, which to be honest, we desperately need, even though this house is a good size for us. Storage is so important. So we can lift this up. I'm gonna get Ollie to do it so that I don't jog the camera. Can we just point out whose idea was the ottoman? Oh yeah, okay, sorry. Ollie was really for the ottoman. I was like, do we save the money and not do the ottoman? But it was worth it. Such a good idea. Yeah. Because. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I mean, so incredible. And we've got all these storage boxes, which we're gonna pop underneath. So we're gonna be like, towels, spare bedding, some of Ollie's spare stuff, like winter stuff. We could just package it all away. You don't have to see it. It doesn't get dusty. Bring me better that way. Yeah. This is like really sturdy. I well. know the the guys were amazing too. They put the bed together for us, so we didn't have to do anything, and they were in and out within like no time at all. That felt really kind of naughty having people build it and. I know we didn't have to do we any need, work for work. once. <laughs> no, and then we were lifting the wardrobe up the stairs. And then it just pops back down. They did say it was easier when the mattress was on because it kind of like gives a little bit of weight. But I'll talk through the bed a little bit later on more when it's actually looking pretty and put together in the room. We can sleep off the floor tonight. <laughs> Now, some of you might remember a few weeks back, we packed up the car and headed to this farm to pick up some old chest of drawers, which I had managed to score on eBay. They weren't in bad condition, but we really wanted to upcycle them. As you can see, the handles were coming off and we wanted to keep them the same kind of dark color, but just restain them. And because they had this thick liquor on them, it was quite a job because it was just clogging up the sandpaper. So we decided to scrape that off with a scraper. And then we took out all the drawers to do exactly the same thing and also the feet. And the feet had this pretty terrible, to be honest, plastic hardware on it. And I wouldn't be able to change these, but I am planning on spray painting them to just hopefully make them look a little bit nicer. Ready? Almost nerve wracking part. I hate this part of anything, but ready? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it's fine. Okay, we're all good. You're all right? Yeah. You missed the spot in the middle there. Nope, still missed it. <laughs> yep, yeah, there you go. I need some more stain. Yeah, that looks all right, doesn't it? It looks really nice. Right. Let's do the rest of this thing. Right, I felt like this one was a little bit too gold when I was spraying it. Even though it says antique gold, it didn't quite fit with the handles. So I ran out to get this one, which is actually an espresso color. It's not quite the color that I was going for, but it has worked really well. So I covered, recovered them in this and then did the lightest little spray over with this one. And it looks a little bit speckly, really up close if you can kind of see that but it is by far the best antique brass spray effect i think i've ever been able to achieve so pretty tough with that hopefully it'll match with the handles what a process but i think well worth it today is the day that the shelves go up we started the shelves yesterday so originally we bought this it was a huge pine plank 
from um, like B&Q and Ollie started cutting it up and it was so warped. I don't know if you can quite tell from there, but they were all over the place and we just weren't that happy. So we went to this amazing wood place and we found this gorgeous oak which really was about the same price so I wish that we'd found this place originally but we'll be able to use this for something else. So we're using solid oak and we picked up some brackets from Amazon and Ollie's now just measuring them all so that fingers crossed they fit perfectly in the space. So how he's doing it is he's getting spare bits of wood and measuring the angle and then cutting the angle just to make sure that it is correct once he gets it on. And then hopefully they'll sit flush. This one's gonna be going a lot higher up, so it's going up there. So good luck. So this is the hard cut, isn't it? Because this is taking off the end hopefully. to make it perfect. I'm gonna take off a tiny bit. Tiny bit. And then we'll keep going. Yeah. And then we're gonna be oiling these in the same colour as the floor. So that it's really nice and consistent. We've been taking the shelf down about half a mil at a time. It's been quite a few cuts, but we're hoping this is the last. Oh, please. Oh, it looks good from here. Is it there? We want a little marker at the top. Yeah. Good. It's like just... Yeah, do you want oh, to pass it? Oh, looks so nice. Do you want to pass it the spirit level? It seems a fraction off, but it's a fraction below. And that is low. <gasps> And that is level. We're done. Oh my gosh. Shelf number one. Shelf Halfway number there. one. <laughs> one. We are back on the shelves. And as you can see, the top one is up. Just but to explain what we did. So, because our walls are old and the bricks are really soft, when we drilled the holes, they kind of went a bit wrong. So, we got some chem bond or like chemical anchor, which is just like a putty that sets really hard. Squidged it in the walls, put the bolts back in, and then put the shelf in, and then propped it up till it's flat. Hopefully, fingers crossed, when we take that down, it will stay flat and level. So, it meant that we could manoeuvre it whilst that stuff was in. Now it's set. We are never getting that shelf out. There may still be some finishing touches that we didn't do when we finished off the renovations. <laughs> Finally getting around to getting rid of all the tape. Today is what most professionals would call in the stall day. For me, this is the day of faff. The day that I move things from room to room, make an absolute mess, and no doubt at some point have a little bit of a breakdown. It's time to bring in all of the accessories and decor to bring this room together. This is what happens when you try and be a cheapskate and pick up a frame online to match a coloured painting. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite match, but I'm going to go with it for now and in time I can just paint this frame. So offshore they fall and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Don't tell anybody, especially not Ollie, but I'm just going to do this by eye. I think that looks fine. Nobody will know. That will do, duck. That will do. Bye. 
Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. They dream. about halfway through making over the small one. You live and you learn. <laughs> We picked up this Vanity Calm console table up online and um, it was a really good price but the legs are a little bit wobbly, they simply just need a little bit of tightening. The colour is about the right colour so I think we're just going to give it a really good clean up and a little bit of tightening. It's taken us so long to do that. Hopefully I'll have cut out all of the faffing and tantrums in between. So you'll just see lovely smooth cuts, but just know it's a bit crazy. I'll show you a shot of the hallway right now. I'll pick you up again in the morning to give you a tour around and hopefully put the door on. <laughs> and here's a bit of the reality for you. We're on the last job of the room. <laughs> the door is painted. We are going to fix this one up a little bit in time. We're going to put some trim in it, um, but we're going to save that for when we do all the other doors and buy all the trim at once. So, we're just going to get this one up. Moment of truth. Let's see if this closes. Oh, good. good, right? Yeah, that's good. Quite clearly, we are chuffed. The room is done, minus the door handle, which we always seem to struggle with. But we haven't quite finished the one from the bathroom yet, and that's been how long? Like a couple Shh, months. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> don't tell them. They don't need to know. Maybe by Christmas we'll have a lock on this one. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, let me give you a whiz round. I can't believe this room. Can you remember it back when we moved in? Yeah, vaguely, but it, it's a really long time ago. It didn't, it had like, it didn't have a carpet. It just had loads of carpets chucked all over it. it. Like, kind of like mismatched. I can't remember that so well. My biggest memory from this is when you came home and I had ripped down the ceiling that day and yes. you didn't really know what was going on. Yeah, I, it had, I quite liked the wallpaper that was in here, a lovely like striped wallpaper and then it was so bland and white and just a little bit lifeless. But this is kind of what we imagined all along, isn't it? Yeah, this is the vision. This was the vision, so let's show you around.
Okay, I thought I'd give you a quick whiz around so that you could see the room a little bit more slowly and see what it's like as you walk through. So as you come in the door, you're greeted by the console. There's quite a lot of space here between the bed, which I think is nice, especially just in case you have shoes on so you're not coming right on into the rug. I will try and link as much as I can below, but I won't talk through all of the items right now because that will probably be long and boring for you guys. But moving forward, you then have the shelves directly in front of you. In time, I hope that we can build some more sentimental pieces from where we've traveled or just picking up better vintage or secondhand finds. But for now, these items go in here great and it's put together, ready for us to move into our room when it's ready. And then you've got the little vanity below. We were gonna make our own, but this one fitted in perfectly. It saves us time so that we can get on with other renovations. And I think, hopefully, when we have our first guest come, we're going to drill a hole in the back of the unit and put a hairdryer and straighteners and bits under here so that when our guests come, they don't have to plug them in. So the uh, socket, I don't know if you can see, but it is directly behind there. So all of the wires and everything will be hidden away. Then from where I'm standing at the desk, this is the kind of view that you get over here. Door, still without a handle, but we will get around to that. I promise. Obviously, this is a lot of storage to have in a room. I always think it's nice to have storage. We could put things like blankets and pillows in there as well as under the bed. And I think it's quite nice to keep those things in a room because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I tend to get bedding and then I don't remember what size the bedding is and where it goes and it's all white and it's all in a big pile and then I have to go through it all, finally able to find where it's from. Anyway, hopefully that will make life easier. These are the bedsides. I love the little bit of print and pattern. I think maybe in time I might get a quilt that has a little bit of pattern on it too. Another thing that I would like to change is, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the back pillows actually are a little bit more yellow in tone to the bedding set. So I'd like to invest in a few more of those. And the other thing is we do need a new blind because this one isn't blackout and it gets a lot of light in here. So guests will need a blackout bind. I reckon I'm definitely gonna go for something deeper. Originally I was thinking like this oatmeal color, but I may go a little bit, you know, out the box and go for a print. But hopefully this gives you a really nice view of the room. If you want to see all of our renovations, so the radiators going in, the valves, the flooring, the painting, I will list the playlist below and you can see how this room actually all started to come together but yeah what do you guys think i think we could possibly also put a few paintings either side of the bed in time when we find the right ones and that is another room finished thank you so much for all of your support and encouragement and well wishes in the comments throughout the whole renovation of this room it has honestly kept us going and motivated so we really couldn't have done it without you guys i hope that you enjoyed coming along for the process if you're not already subscribed, then please do consider it. It is free. You can just hit the red button below. It helps me out hugely and it helps me create more videos like this for you guys. And it just lets me feel the love a little bit too. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys all in the next one. I hope you're well. Bye. Original door at the end of the day. That is indeed a door. A door. <laughs>